all and welcome to my xbox and me episode 485 i am one of your hosts mc fixer alongside the one and only it's the one and only it's the one. how are you there's, there's only, only one, one. It's, the, it's the one and only it's only yeah. despawn yeah it's only me yeah the, uh, the one and only as my <laughs> wife says thank god uh <laughs> yeah now hi dude how are you doing not too bad mate not too bad you know it is it's been yeah. a heartbroken it's been a, it's heartbroken wait why wait why would that be heartbroken everyone's dead oh so that took me a second to click there for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah obviously losing crash in a uh, shark attack was uh really upsetting for me mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and matt continues to be dead from whatever he died from the first time about a month ago uh it's every week it's another snake bite to the eyes it's and i crazy. don't get what it is yeah crazy crazy you know I'm, I'm good i'm good i haven't played that much lately which we'll talk about soon i'm sure but i haven't really been it's weird do you know when you know you have so much to play that you end up playing nothing option that paralysis is literally where i am right now yeah. literally but we'll get into it i'll talk about all that in what's in our box but if you didn't know this is my xbox and me our weekly xbox podcast right here on youtube.com slash my xbox and me and of course all podcast services if you want to support the show financially patreon.com slash mc fixer make sure you go check us out over on twitch d spawn did a fantastic watch along all by his lonesome um <laughs> so all by his lonesome uh, how was it how was it how was it it was good. It was fun. It's always nice just to catch up with the community anyway. But uh, yeah, no, it was a good time. Uh, everyone seemed to be pretty hyped on what was being shown, which again, we'll get into in a second. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it was a good one. It was a good one. I would do more stuff like that. I want to get back to streaming on the channel anyway, just in general. It's, the same. it's, it's always nice catching up with the community anyway. Uh, and yeah, 100%. try and put some cool stuff. Uh, all right, let's get into the topic of the show, shall we? So we're going to be talking all things Xbox partner preview. Uh, this happened... When did... What day was this day it came out? It was on... Uh, Thursday. Thursday, which would have been the 17th, I think. I think I've got that right. Um, the time of work. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of stuff got announced. Uh, new, old, uh, and everything in between, to be honest with you. So we're going to go through each thing, uh, give our thoughts. Uh, before we do that, though, I end up reacting to it the day afterwards on my channel because you said it was definitely worth it 100 mm -hmm. agree it was definitely worth it i'm very very happy that i did mm -hmm. um i forgot how much i enjoyed the partner previews yeah. like the 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 aesthetic of it the the signage of like new game or today obviously this one had like a, a brand new reveal sort of game all that stuff like it was just yeah i really enjoy it. i forgot how much i enjoy it mm -hmm. um but i saw it was 30 minutes was like oh no yeah it's only 30 it minutes so i'm a bit sad you thought oh. it was going to be like, oh, there's not going to be anything big here. So it's like a yeah. small thing. It was like, no, I think they did a really good job of like showing quite a, generally just a varied selection of games. I think it was really good. I think there were some good announcements that were like not, I was some genuine surprises uh, in here. And yeah, I got some dates for some cool stuff. And yeah, I think it was a really good showcase. I always enjoy the partner preview because it's never like the big thing that I get like hyped for. But it's, mm. the, it's the thing I like to see like just some new things that are coming. Uh, and they always seem to like show off a good, like two or three really good things. Yeah. No, I, I agree. It's always a solid showcase from them. Always. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is nice. Uh, speaking of, we'll start off with what got shown. Uh, Alan Wake 2, The Lake House. Uh, we finally got to see our first real look um, of this second DLC. Yeah. Um, what did you think overall of it? Obviously, it's starring... What's her name? I always say it incorrectly. Um, I'll butcher it, so I'm not even going to try. Yeah, you know um, you know who I'm talking about. I'm not even going yeah. to try, but I, know, I always was... butcher her name. Uh, so previously, people might recognize her from uh, the first uh, Jedi game, uh, Fallen yes. Order. She was yeah, the bad yeah, guy yeah. in that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so you might recognize her from that. Uh, she's been in a ton of other stuff as well. But uh, yeah, no, this, see, she was obviously, she was like a side character in main game of Alan Wake. Uh, yes. I think she, I think it was like Agent Estevez. Something uh, was like her name. that. Uh, but yeah, no, very excited. They did a big link into Control as well. Like, I love the fact that they're going back into like the full on horror aspects of it again. <sighs> which I'm excited for. <sighs> Cool. Yes, I, cool. I like everything about this trio other than the control stuff because I never played control. And it Mate. annoys me for the fact that I didn't play control because I was like, because I'm such a big Alan Wake fan, right? I mm -hmm. love Alan Wake. I loved Alan Wake too. We both did. Um, 
there's a part of me just like, wow, I really dropped the ball not playing control because there's certain references that I'm just not getting yeah. because of because of not playing it and it's frustrating me. Yeah. No, th- I would like 100% tell everyone to play uh, uh, like control. If you are a, even like a fair ever fan of Remedy's games, control is one of their best. Like I recently went back and completed it uh, after been doing the same thing where I just never played it for a while. Uh, and I finally, it's one of those things, you know, where you get like, uh, do you remember the Humble Bundle? Yep. Uh, it's like I, they gave the ultimate edition away in that at one point uh, okay. so I got it through that and it was like it's just been sat installed on my computer forever and I finally decided to jump in and it was such uh, such a good experience uh, Like they've done like a ton of extra updates to it as well which has been fantastic so yeah if you are thinking about it I said to just jump in man it's it's a good time problem is this one which we'll get to later because uh, i've got game. too much too much too much new stuff to play old games old old games, old games old. Yeah, okay, um, yeah. but yeah it was a good start to the showcase i did like what i saw of it anyway mm-hmm. and it looks obviously the first dlc was more like side stories of these different characters that we already yeah. seen in the yellow wake world this seems a little bit more meaty if i'm being honest yeah so night springs uh, which was the previous dlc was like three separate stories that kind of told not stories about the characters themselves but it was so the way i understood it it was alan wake writing stories from the other place oh yeah trying to escape and the way that obviously whenever he really writes a story it affects the real world so these were things that were really happening but like not if that makes sense Um, so it was interesting uh, but it was more of a kind of like throw away like tongue in cheek or at least two of them were uh like play in the world where this feels like it's going to have like an actual like real significance on the story of alan wake so yeah. it, it is uh there is and a control and control yeah so it, again for those that haven't played control there is a bit in the trailer that they showed at the partner preview which directly links into uh control itself so i'm very excited but yeah no I'm excited for this one because, like I say, it seems to have more of an, a, a story effect uh, comp- compared to Night Springs. Uh, that's not to say Night Springs wasn't great. I like check out my review of it. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, this isn't this one. I think we're going to get a bit more meat on these buns this time. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm looking forward to. It. I need to beat. I need to beat both of these DLCs before the end of the year, mm-hmm. just so I can so we can both champion it to give mm-hmm. it game of the year mm-hmm. to screw over Crash and Matt. Yeah, I'm down. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up, we had Cronus, the new Dawn. This is the brand new game from Team Blooper, or Blooper Team, sorry, um, coming out in 2025. It looks like Dead Space. Yeah, I, w- I was thinking that. Like, I initially, when I was watching it, I was like, wait, because the the guy has like a gun that changes shape and it's just yep. like, and then the whole, wait. the whole, the, the whole mechy type suit yeah, around the, the back suit. and the, 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 the enemies. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like no. I, I like I love Dead Space. I love obviously survival horror games. Um I've again, Team Blue Part, I'm yet to play Silent Hill 2, but I have now got a copy of it, so I am now <sighs> waiting until I play that before I give my verdict on Team Blue uh, on Blooper team. Yeah. But from what I'm hearing, it's a game of the year contender. Mm-hmm. Um, and the fact that they've still got more coming and more coming and stuff like that looks really good. The tone of this trailer was fantastic. Yeah. Um, I love the whole chess, the chess um, sequence, even though people were quick to point out that apparently there wasn't actually a checkmate in the chess game. No. No. I, so like it's all building up the whole time to like a checkmate. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't Just no checkmate. <laughs> See, I'm not a massive chess player. I've got a chess board somewhere. No, me either. But yeah, no. No, yeah. me either, me either. Maybe yeah, this is a, I'll do the next stream. Sorry, I'll, do, I'll do a chess stream on the on Mike's chess stream. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Come at th- me, bro. Yeah, this is sorry. Cronus the new dawn. Like I say, mm-hmm. coming to Xbox Series X and S, and of course PC in 2025. So looking forward to that one. Uh, next up, you had the Blind Fire, which is a first-person shooter, um, very like 90s club feel. Um, the whole trailer is based on bright colors neon neon colors and yeah. stuff like that very dark i was complaining when i was watching the trailer i was like jesus this trailer is really dark and then it clicks for a moment you're like oh yeah. it's meant to be dark yeah, yeah. um this was was this the shadow drop game uh yeah so this one dropped like the same day it was like available today in early access um this one's interesting it very much feels like a like the the, the way that we're selling it is like it feels like a laser tag kind of yeah. arena somewhat with all the lights out uh, and every, everything's you painted in UV light, in like UV paint, uh, yeah. and it's all about you know using like the light from 
people shooting and stuff to find where people are. Uh, mm-hmm. I've not jumped into it yet. I know it's like I think I had look. I think it's like seven ninety nine in early access on Xbox. Oh, okay, so it's super oh, cheap. That's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking I might just you know just bite the bullet. Uh, no pun intended with it being a shoot and all. But um, yeah, I might bite the bullet and just give it a go and see what it's like. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I like the look of it. Again, it's one of those weird ones where I'm like. I've got so much else to play right now. A shadow drop is not what I need on my on my case <laughs> right now. But yeah. if, if I hear good things about it, I would be tempted to check it out. Yeah, well, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll well, what I'll do is I'll jump into to it later on this week and uh, give you a heads up if it's worth the time or worth not. It. Okay, fair enough. A game that is definitely going to be worth both of our time. Uh, like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii. Uh, brand new trailer for this. I was I was scared when I first saw this be announced. Because mm-hmm. again, we've already had a trailer for this, which was pretty deep as well. And yeah, I was like, yeah. oh no. They, is this going to be one of those ones where they run this into the ground? Yeah. Like, straight away with trailers on trailers on trailers. This trailer was absolutely perfect. I yeah. just want to say this trailer yeah. absolutely perfect. They obviously they always hit the tone perfectly with the Like a Dragon games, but this was a focus on naval uh, combat and the naval reveal stuff, which I know sounds stupid, but I kind of forgot there would be that that this would be in the game. Yeah, I, I know. I know it's a I know it's a pirate game, mm-hmm. and maybe I've just been catered to um, maybe not expect certain things in pirate games at the moment, um, but. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, man. I saw this again. I'm not really a big naval combat guy, if I'm mm-hmm. honest with you. But this looks arcadey and silly and dumb enough that I think it's going to be very easy and pick up and play, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, if any series is going to be arcadey enough and fun enough to just jump straight in, it's going to be a Like a Dragon game. Uh, but no, I'm loving it. I think, yeah, the naval combat looks interesting and fun. Uh, I love the new kind of, uh, like, fighting abilities that they've got in there like there was one with a giant monkey yep. um as one of the uh, summons that you could get it just it looks like a ton of dumb fun and it's exactly what i want and the big announcement we got was it's now coming a week early as well yep week early so it's gonna be dropping friday the 21st of february mm-hmm. uh, probably getting the getting out of the way of monster hunter let's be, let's be honest <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah nobody's like, yeah, yeah. i'm gonna say talking to games that are like you know trailers into the ground like, there, there's the one you, yeah monster hunter yeah mm-hmm. i don't but, need any more trailers for that game please i guess capcom know what they have on their hands right if they've got games moving out of the way yeah. like this is moved from the 28th to the 21st so a week earlier mm-hmm. um yeah, man. Very excited. Very, very, very excited for it. Looking forward to playing it. Um, looked fantastic. I could do a pretty one more trailer for this game. One yeah. more trailer. Show me a little bit more. Come out in February. I'm ready for it. That's it. Yeah, give us a like nice breakdown of some of these uh, fun side quests that are in there. That's yeah. what I'd like. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we've seen we've seen the story beats at the beginning. We've seen the naval combat. Give me the side quest stuff that I know I'm going to get in there. Just give me that gameplay deep dive. Agreed. Uh, next we had a mouse uh, PI for hire this is the uh, old school uh, black and white cartoony um, game the like, first person shooter mm-hmm. um, obviously if, the best way to explain it to people maybe who have not seen it is if you know what Cuphead looks like imagine that black and white that same sort of art style um, old school uh, what time period would the, these cartoons would have been they would have uh, been so these would have been I think like the 30s so the way I describe oh, this God. is it's for those that know it is like Steamboat Willie like the classic yes. Mickey Mouse uh, cartoons uh, yep. it's like that kind of art style but it feels like it is like kind of verging on the kind of like hyper gory aspects of it as well like yeah they're not messing around with some of the damage you can do to people like limbs getting blown off and stuff and yeah fully like full-on headshots and things it looks like it's going f- super over the top uh but it looks like it's going to be a ton of fun yeah it looks really good i really like the look of it um it's one of those ones where i'm like will i play this though i don't know mm. um i'd have to hear like crazy good things about it um I don't know. There's something about the shooting mechanics that don't don't do it for me. Yeah. Um, and I'm not really that interested in being a PI either, if I'm being honest. That's like, so obviously in the trailer, you see all the camera stuff, taking photos of evidence and things like that. Yeah. Um, but again, it's one of those ones. Maybe, maybe the reviews come out, everyone's being like, oh my God, this game looks amazing. Um, and then we go from there. 2025 as well, this comes out. Um, yeah. No really- exact date yet though. Yeah, I'm going to say, there's not, there wasn't a lot of dates that we got. We no. got a couple, but like, yeah, not a lot of them. Um, yeah, pretty much everything is just 2025 at this point. Uh, yeah. But yeah. 
Looking forward to it, though. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, a game that a lot of people would have heard of, which I knew where it was as soon as I saw the trailer, uh, Subnautica 2. Uh, brand new Subnautica game coming 2025 on Xbox and, play, uh, and PC. Uh, early access will be on Xbox as well, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and the big reveal, I guess, of this trailer was it's going to have co-op. Yeah, I am super excited for this. Like, Subnautica 1 is an awesome game that I put... <sighs> a lot of hours into like i've okay. played like multiple playthroughs of it it's just it's just a ton of fun uh and yeah like i am excited for another subnautica and to be able to play with friends is another bonus as well i'm excited for that uh, i think I this was the first one never oh it. it's it's basically a crafting survival game but it obviously it's all underwater uh yeah. so if you like crafting survival games like you can build like underwater bases you can like go foraging for like rare minerals and things like that there's big bosses to fight yeah, there's a ton of stuff in there. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, this looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited to see it come to early access on Xbox and Game Pass. Yeah. And and it, yeah, wait, Game Pass? Mm -hmm. Game Pass as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, didn't yeah. know that. Must have missed that. Interesting. I mean, the only reason I see it is watching the trailer right now in front of me. <laughs> Thank you for doing your job. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> next up, we had Animal Well, uh, which was... Uh, let me... If, if I can remember this one. This was like the side-scroller um, 2D... Um, yeah, so this is like uh, a... As two, I explained, yeah. 2D 8-bit platform puzzle That's game. That's what I was looking for. 8-bit uh, platformer. Yeah, this is like a pe like people fell in love with this game when this initially dropped on PC. Like, uh, it was like I imagine at least one or two people put this on the game of the year list. I think people were saying it's that oh, good. Wow. So oh, yeah, the fact that we now get it on Xbox as well is awesome. Uh, they, I will give them kudos for being the trailer that said Shadow more time than any other trailer has ever said Shadow. Oh ever. yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, Euro game. I gave it a five out of five. Yeah, today. yeah their review when it came out on pc switch and playstation mm -hmm. so um yeah good to see that it's finally making its way over to the xbox platform uh next up we had ender zero uh this is the anime um type based on uh ender zero by Hiroi Mashima, I hope I said that correctly, uh, who also wrote uh, Fairy Tales and Raven Master. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, wasn't a mini game. Obviously, these are not my type of games. Usually, I have to they have to be really, really special and and hit a very specific uh, mark to get me to try and play it. You know, yeah, um, um, yeah. yeah. I'm not usually sold on the waifu stuff. Not really for me. Um, looks interesting. Uh, like the art style looks fun and all that. But yeah, like I don't, I don't know if think this is, it does. I don't know if this is one for me at all. I don't even like the art style. I'll be honest with you. No, not feeling it. No, I, I wasn't. I didn't feel this one at all. Honestly, again, this was not aimed for me. So I yeah. totally understand that, and that's perfectly okay. But yeah, even though, like the art style outside of the gameplay, maybe. But when the gameplay came in, I was like. Nah, I'm good, you know. Definitely yeah. not for me. Definitely yeah. not for me. Uh, one that did get, take all my fancy, though, uh, Eternal Strands. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like the sci-fi... Um, the way I explained this one was it looked like Phoenix Immortal Rising, but for adults. Yeah. That's like I, like very much arcade um, action-adventure. Um, the only thing that upset me about this one... Was, was this the one that was in a, it's coming to early access? I believe so, yeah. That's what upset me the most about this. I was like, damn, if this was a full-fledged finished game, I mm -hmm. think I would have jumped in and absolutely loved this. But with it being early access, I'm like, damn, it really looks good. There's a lot of boss fights in this. Beautiful color scheme, beautiful art style. Um, like I say, it seems to have that climbing mechanic that Phoenix had, and like obviously Zelda had it as well. Um, yeah, yeah. That sort of um mechanic but yeah i really liked everything i saw of this game yeah it gives me that kind of like the vibe i was feeling was yeah like say immortal phoenix rising meets like shadow of the colossus so you find mm. these big giant bosses uh but also yeah it's it's got that very like over the top cell shaded art style uh yeah. which i like i like the look of it uh and yeah no i'm uh i'm interested to see that to see more i think this is like the second time we've seen this i think it was in a preview yeah. of uh one of the partner showcases previously or it might be in the summer showcase it was in the preview show uh, uh okay. or the pre-show but yeah um 
like yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to this one like I want to get hands on it coming early 2025 it will also be on Game Pass as well which is huge mm -hmm. so very happy about that uh, Mistfall Hunter uh, this one was the Souls like um, from what I could tell again people always get upset when you when you say Souls like about certain things obviously because but to me that's what it looks like I'm hoping it isn't I'm hoping it's way easier but that it doesn't look like that it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be any easier yeah overly hard bosses uh, yeah parry systems the, the magic feels really cool like I like yeah. the look of that um yeah, it does. I don't know. Oh, like, I've not the seen way, it come up. No, but. no. Well, the way the way the trailer worked, it seems like you're either switching between different um, characters in the world because it very much felt like you had like a magic character, a soldier character, an archer, yeah. a character, a rogue. Thank you. Um, so I can't tell if it's that was them showing from different perspectives or the fact that you can switch in between each of them in one fight. Yeah, either that or it's going to be a case of, yeah, maybe you choose which class you want to play as and you play as that class throughout the game. But yeah, when yeah. I'm looking at some of the combat, it does look like there are three people in the area. Maybe you can switch between yeah. them. I don't know. Like, I'd be interested to see more about that. Like, that might be a cool mechanic. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like, right I now, like the look of it. Yeah, right now, I like the look of it. But again, like, I'm, it, it's hard to get me involved in a. You know, in a souls like if it is that, uh, and if it's not, you need to like you know you need to show me that it's not. I'll let them. I'll let the souls like people play it first. Mm -hmm, Tell me mm -hmm. if it's good, and I'll play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Uh, next up, we had Will World. Uh, this was the um, the way I, I I thought about it was like, do you remember Golf Story and Soccer Story? Mm -hmm. Imagine that, but like three D world right about all about racing like you're going around having conversations customizing your bike all that stuff it's all about bike enthusiasts and stuff like that when i yeah. say bike i'm talking about like bmx and mountain bikes that type of thing yeah so the way i looked at this was more leaning into dungeon the hitberg especially for the art style yes, it's definitely the art style of that yeah art style of that. and then uh yeah like it looks like rather than it being like a dungeon crawling hack and slash it's a, a bike racing game so imagine game pass as well yeah early 2025 Dun yeah, Dungeons and Hitberg meets um what's that Ubisoft game that you're always playing? Which one? The one that you're flying down a mountain on a motorbike. Oh, Riders on Republic. A, Repu yeah, imagine that then with like some kind of weird like story elements in it as well. Yeah. It looks interesting. Yeah. And you can make a bike out of a person, which is weird. Did you not know? Why did, did you, you not say that? Why did, why did you sound exactly excited about that? Because it's interesting and it's weird, and I like interesting and weird. Says a lot about you, mate. Says a lot about you. Uh, next up, Phasmophobia. I don't need to say much about this game. It's finally coming to console, uh, Xbox to be specific, on Tuesday the 29th of October. So just in time for Halloween. Phasma with the boys? I've never played it, so I'm down. Yeah. I've played yeah. it on... So I played it on my old PC when my old PC was a terrible mess. So I'd be interested to try it again on the new PC. Or in fact, even better on Xbox. Yeah, I'd be yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. 100%. It is, the, it is the season. Tis the season to get scary. Tra la 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 la. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Legend of Babu. Uh, this was what the next game shown after uh, uh, Phasmophobia, which was quite a stark difference. Um, <laughs> this one didn't do much for me, unfortunately. It didn't, didn't drive with the art style, didn't drive with the gameplay. Um, no. Love the doggo, but everything else... Nah, well, I was sold. I was sold on a dog. Yeah, it, uh, it reminds me of. Uh, did you ever play uh, Kenna on no, PlayStation? No, but that is yes. That's exactly yeah. what it reminds me of. Yeah, yeah, and it looked like yeah, it looked like those kind of vibes meets like Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons kind of thing. Uh, so in, I'm uh, I'm interested in this one. Like I'm not like wasn't hyped. impressed. Yeah. I wasn't impressed at all. The, the I didn't like the art style in terms of in its gameplay. To be honest with you. That's fair. Like everything about it, I was just like, this looks off. I can't tell why. I can't tell if it's a frame rate thing. Can't tell if it's an art thing. I can't mm -hmm. tell, but there's something that's just off about this. But there's a, a little pupper. How can you not love the pupper? I can Google pictures of puppers. I'll be fine. All right. I'll be fine. Fix uh, again, dogs. we have. <laughs> that's not true. How dare you? Um, again, we have seen quite a bit of, but it looks good every time we see it. Uh, it is Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. Um, Xbox have definitely got the marketing for this one and they are pushing this one 
hard. This um, is yeah. This is very much the uh, we we couldn't get Wu Chang. Uh, oh no, we couldn't get uh, what was the other one? The monkey Wu Kong. Wu Kong. Yeah. So we got Wu Chang instead. And honestly, <laughs> I think I prefer Wu Chang. No, I'm liking the look of this a lot. I, like, I do like the look of this as well. Again, another Souls like, but mm -hmm. I, yeah. It, I'm interested to what? see if this is a full-on Souls like, or if it's going to be like a more of a boss rush kind of thing again, similar to Wu Chang. Oh, Wu Kong, um, Wu Kong. Got yeah, it. yeah. Coming to Game Pass, so nothing mm -hmm. to lose if you already have a Game Pass subscription. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I do, I do like the look of this, like art style again very pretty um a lot of unique abilities you see like there's that flower ability they've done where it looked like a bunch of like thunderbolts came off of a flower and the, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of stuff it was it yeah it looks good you have the the, the wolf head that you're fighting that looks yeah. that look crazy i don't want to pet that dog <laughs> i do not want to pet that dog <laughs> pet that dog no come no, that dog. no i want to pet that dog yeah no it and looks then, cool like i love sorry, the, i love the yeah i'm gonna say i love the look of it uh the fact that it's coming to game pass is just a bonus that means i don't have to you know worry about checking it out um i do like the look of the combat i think the combat looks really cool i like you say those unique abilities uh i think there was one where you used a cane as like a machine gun yep which yep. oh yeah, yeah really yeah, interesting yeah. uh but yeah no i am like i'm super interested in checking this one out uh and yeah i'm very 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 interested to see how this one plays i hope it plays as well i really do yeah uh, and then last but not least, the, probably the biggest surprise at this showcase, um, though I wouldn't have ended on it, uh, FBC Firebreak. Uh, this is the brand new game from Remedy. It is a free player co-op experience in the Control and Alan Wake uh, universe. Um, I, the best way to describe it is a run and gun, Left 4 Dead type, type game, to be honest with you. Um, what, what did you make of this? I'm interested. What did you... Again, we're both Remedy fans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, we like Alan Wake. You like Control and Alan Wake. Like, yep. what did you think? Interesting to bring it back into the Control universe like this, but I'm excited for this. Like, like I want to ah. see what Remedy do with this. Like, you okay. know, you know the phrase, let them cook. Like, if I trust... Yeah. If I trust Remedy to do something good with, within this universe... Like, you know, I'm sure they're going to come out with something cool. I mean, we saw the thing where it was like, you could use a gnome as a weapon. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like, it looked really interesting. Like, I'm... Yeah, I thought the first it's going to be Game Pass as well. Another one that's like, we don't have to worry about, like, that barrier to entry. You know, the yeah. wallet. Uh, but no, I'm interested to see what they do. I'm interested to see Remedy, like, branch out from a single-player narrative. Um, it does feel like this is their kind of, like, foray into, like, having something that's a bit more persistent rather than it just being, like, a one-and-done story. Uh, yeah. fr free player co-op sounds cool as well. I like the, the different, like, character abilities that you can, like, use. Uh, it very much feels like kind of like a, like you say, a, a Left 4 Dead meets a hero shooter in a way. Yeah. Uh, not not so much not of like hero oh, shooter, but yeah, yeah. you know like you, unique character classes and that kind of stuff like i saw like the big giant when he was firing like goo balls at everything and yeah and then you had one which would do like charge abilities uh and like a big melee class uh yeah no i'm like i'm i'm interested to see how this one plays out and again i don't know how long we have to wait but it's only next year only next year all right, let's get into what's been in our box. Uh, that was everything at the preview program. Um, like overall, what did you think? Like, if you had to score it? Uh, on, on our rating, I'd give it... On our rating, yeah. I'd give it an eight, honestly. I think, okay. like, there was nothing that, like, I didn't like. Um, I thought the surprises that we got, like a new game from Bluba, uh, the the brand new game that I didn't expect Remedy to come out with in a in an FPS, I thought was really good. I thought everything had a really good showing. Uh, and yeah, nothing overstayed its welcome. They've got a couple of nice shadow drops as well. Yep. Yeah, all in all, I think there was something here for everyone. Uh, and yeah, and like not enough dates. Like there was, I think like two or three that we got dates. What do you from. mean? Twenty twenty five, bro. Twenty twenty five. That's a date. Yeah. It's a date. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. How many How many of those will actually hit that date? We shall see. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be so negative. Don't be a negative Nancy, man. Come on. It's, it's, I'm being a, a realistic Rachel. Okay. Sure. All right, moving on. Sure. <laughs> yeah. What about um, you? What's, yeah, what were that? Oh, uh, I think after I watched it, I was at an eight. Mm -hmm. And then after thinking about it, I'm probably at a seven. Okay. Okay. What I, think, I think it. Uh, I don't. I. 
I don't think the FBC announcement hit for me the way I think it may have done for other people. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a big, it is a big game. But if we could have got something bigger, I think that would have been even bigger, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's probably where I'd be at, seven. Fair, fair. Yeah. Um, all right, what have you been playing, dude? Because if we talk about what I've been playing, you're going to be very bored. I mean, I've seen what you've been playing. It's, it's the same what thing you always playing? play. You have been playing uh, GTRP. Uh, uh, don't say that on this podcast. People get upset. All right, go okay. Okay. Uh You've been playing a little Rainbow Six Siege. I have. I, that's mm-hmm, actually, mm-hmm, did you know mm-hmm. what? That's actually not a bad thing. I have. I played some Rainbow Six Siege. I went back. It might be one of the most grueling experiences of going back to a game ever. Mm-hmm, uh, they've mm-hmm. got their new um, Doctor's Halloween Curse, event, yeah. Doctor's Curse. Obviously, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. I paid to play Rainbow Six for Ubisoft, yada, yada, yada. Even though I played it on my own channel and wasn't paid, but whatever. Um, yeah, I like Rainbow. I wish Rainbow was... I wish Rainbow liked me. Yeah. <laughs> so, spoilers, I also played Rainbow. Oh yeah! So we what were. What did you do that? Uh, boredom, and it was one of the few things that was installed today. So we were supposed oh. to record spoilers. It's now a half four in the afternoon on a yep. Sunday. Uh, we were supposed to record maybe like four hours ago, uh, and I planned to be ready at that time. So the house free, empty, everything, mm. and mm. Uh, uh, not my fault. That's fine. That's fine. Not I didn't give fault. you a time. I said I'd be ready, so no, you just not my, it's fine. not my fault. Yeah. Not my fault. Not my fault. Not my fault. But. Yeah. But it was good because it gave me time to play some games. I played a few games today, in fact. Uh, but yeah, okay. Rainbow Six was one of them. Man, that game How'd is you fun. Ah, uh, I won every game. I didn't help that much, but I won every game. Okay. But yeah. How many kills you get? Uh, like two or three. I'm and not great. Matches? Uh, like, yeah, I'm not, bro. Me either. Me either. Oh, like, was like it, we're talking like two or three a match. Like. Yeah. yeah oh okay that's that's not bad at all i'm not t- like i say i'm not terrible at the game but it's like what but the problem is whenever i play with you who's like was like semi pro at one point it's like it's a bit of a skill I was, difference i was it's a bit of a skill difference time. i used yeah. to chris will tell chris will convince you mm-hmm. that i was absolute dog shit in the game but that's not true we were I mean, all very good at one point yeah, yeah. Like I used to love that game a lot when it first dropped, yeah. and then I dropped off. And like, but going back to it is always fun. I still miss the Lone Wolf mode, like just taking off, like taking out. Oh uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, mean. just 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 clearing out like twenty enemies in a house or something. I, I love that yeah. mode. I hostage, miss it. Uh, not hostage. Yeah. What was it called? Ah, oh, you know which um, one I'm on about though. But yeah, yeah no, it's gonna bug me. Let me know in the comments below what it's called. In, yeah. inter- not interrogation. What was it no. called? Wow, uh, I can't think. Right, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's the, the, the mode that we can't think about. But yeah, no, that yeah. one, I enjoyed that. But no, like playing it today, I didn't really enjoy the Doctor's Curse mode. I think it's a lot better with friends. Yeah. If I'm honest. I enjoy, I enjoy it because I know what it is. I go in with with those expectations. Imagine it was five mm-hmm. of us all in a Discord call and then you've got me screaming because he's chasing me. Like, so yeah, I've, yeah. Like, I think that's where it's more fun. Um, yeah. And the other problem you have, mate, is there's a bunch of sweats. Yeah, there's a bunch of sweats who all know the abilities <laughs> and I yeah. literally just fired it up today with no no idea how to control the game. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's a bit of a difference. But yeah, no, good jumping into like normal more. Like, I just did a few uh, arcade matches, um, just like the standard ones. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Won everyone because you know, built different. Uh, I'm, that <laughs> I'm that guy, yeah, you know. Uh, but no, it was good, it was fun, I enjoyed it. Um, I do want to go back and spend more time in it, uh, but yeah, it's just having the time and there's too many games to play. Yeah, speaking of too many games, all right, hear me out. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> on my list to play before the end of the year, yep, Silent Hill 2, same. Um, uh, um, Metaphor um, Refantasia. Metaphor, I got a code for that. So I don't have a code yeah. for it, but I do want to play it. Yep, I got a code for that. So I installed it on my Xbox the other day. Um, and even Space Marine 2. Not even started it. You've got it though, right? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Um Core Keeper. Uh is that the one I told you about? Yeah. That is, yeah, no, so I want to go back to that. Yeah. We'll uh, go, we're gonna get the on cast, that, yeah. The cast and the Frank Stone. Not, no, don't have that yet. Yeah. Uh, so the, the list, Silent Hill 2. Yeah, we started We started with that, but yeah, I've not got that oh, okay, yet. Okay, yeah, my bad, my bad. Uh, what else is there? Still got Call of Duty to come. Mm-hmm. That comes next week, yeah. 
Which will take up all our free time. Uh, uh, and then there's like games that I need to mop up. Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 16 PC, uh, God of War Ragnarok PC. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you finished Until Dawn now, haven't you? Until it's all done, yeah. Beat yeah. Until Dawn. Very uh, happy about well, that. Well, the two Alan Wake DLCs you've got to play so we can jam it in their faces. I need to play the two Alan Wake DLCs. <laughs> Bro, it's just like non-stop. I know. It's like, I thought like we got, I think it was like March, April when I thought like, oh, it's going to be a quiet year. And then Mario Party. Mario Party. Jamboree. Jamboree. Yeah. Dude. I'm, bro, I've got it sat there just waiting to play I'm, it. Just you know waiting. What? Uh, like, I've passed my operation now. I feel like I can book, book some time off work. I might just book a week off work and just play video games. No, no just wait till Christmas. You'll be fine. You've got time I'm, off. You'll get time I'm, off around then, right? I'm, I'm not home at Christmas. What? I'm, I'm, I'm away. I'd be dragged to the in-laws. Oh, that's gross. I know. I know. Well, you've got um, a, have you got a Steam Deck? You haven't got a Steam Deck, have no, you? No, I've got a Steam Deck. I've got I've got the uh, the Amazon Fire Stick. I might just take that and stick it in a TV and play cloud gaming. Yeah, how would? In fact, I don't know if it's in the news story. Did they announce It's that, not in the news. We've not, but yes, go on. Did they announce that games that you own are coming to Game Pass? Oh, uh, yes. cloud gaming. Not to cloud gaming, in yes. In November, was it? I believe so. Interesting. Another reason to pick everything up on <laughs> Xbox. Hmm. It, yeah, well, yeah, hmm. I'll get a Steam Deck. I'll get a Steam Deck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's everything that I need to play still. Yeah, there's Bro, a lot. Do you think Matt's played the single game? No, God, no. 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 Start to play like, games if you've got snakes in your eyes. <laughs> do you think Crash will actually be Yakuza? Possibly. I think that's why he's not here. I think he's, he's faked his death. Oh, shit. Uh, Bullshit. Just so he can play uh, Yakuza. You know, no chance then tell and us then it's not, got, then lie about it not being game of the year we also got dark hours to play as well spoilers just a bit we'll, can we talk about that we can say we're going to play it we're going to play it yeah okay <laughs> there's nothing else we can say but we do have that technically to play yes it is installed yes <laughs> by the time this comes out we'll be fine don't worry yeah yeah we'll be alright um, we didn't say anything wrong anyway we're fine but yeah it is um, a game that exists it's a game it. that exists that we are playing there you mm-hmm. go uh, go on, what else have you been playing though? So obviously Rainbow, what else? Uh, so I played MechWarrior 5, which just got added to Game Pass. Okay. Yeah, I, it was one of those things I just saw. I, like, I, I opened the, uh, the the PC app for Game Pass mm. and went, oh, that's new, let me try that. Because I thought, you know, I'm on an Xbox podcast, I should probably talk about new things in the world of Xbox. Uh, I did two missions oh. and uninstalled it. Mm. So yeah, it's not bad. a bad game. But the problem is it exists in a world where Titanfall exists. And when you've oh. played running around in a mech like that, it's just no, there's no comparison. It's just, it's slow. It's methodical. It's very much just like walk around an area and wipe out all the little enemies and move on to the next mission. Like if you like the Mech Warrior games, I think you'll like this one. Uh, but yeah, it's did not you, for did me. Did you say you played four or five? Five. Five, got it. Yeah, yeah. Mech Warrior five clans. Um, it was, yeah, it was okay. But uh, the big one that I did play this week um, is a new game uh, that I can't play anymore, and it saddens me, is Project Ethos. So this is the brand new uh, game that like was in community tests for this weekend from 2K. Uh, they had like a oh. bunch of creators and stuff. Like it's, it's basically a hero shooter meets Fortnite meets Tarkov meets like a bunch of other things. Weirdly fun. Like, it is a ton of fun. Like, I'm going to, like, for those who have not seen the game, I'm going to play some footage for you so you can all see it. But very much, like, it is that kind of, like, it looks like Fortnite. Like, it is very yeah, it much... I'm looking at it now. It yeah. Looks, yeah. It, it, it looks and kind of kind of feels a little bit like Fortnite, but it's got, like, those hero shoot abilities, like, each character that you choose. I think there was, like, six in the preview. Uh, they all have different weapon abilities uh, that you can use. Like, they had one that could use, like, an air of effect blast that could do damage you had one that could fire like uh toxic uh darts uh or like toxic clouds to do damage um but then you could also evolve your character as you play um, okay so the way it works is it's very much like you say you run around so to start off the game is a persistent like level like okay. it's all it's always live but you're only allowed you can only be in there for like 20 minutes 
um, until so like, like Tarkov, like so yeah, you, yeah, like you go in to extract the loot and then you've got to mm-hmm. be out. Yeah, yeah, but like, so you've got like, I think 20 minutes of being in there and then you start taking damage slowly over time uh, mm-hmm. until you extract. Uh, but it's all about taking out these like uh, evolution cars uh, to kind of like, yeah, that you can then spend outside the game to uh, yeah upgrade your abilities. So you can have like fast reload times, like your, like you'll have like, maybe your ability does a larger uh, area of effects. Maybe you'll have one that like has faster, like cooldowns and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, and obviously you get those cars from doing missions in the game world and taking on other teams who are carrying their cars. So if you take them out, you can steal theirs. Uh, they also had another uh, mode, which was just a basic 3v3 uh, kind of like, you know, arena shooter kind of mode, uh, which was in, like, it's a nice little kind of balance to like, if you just want a quick game, like you could just jump into that. But I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I think there's something interesting here uh, and I'm interested to see when more people get hold of it uh i think they've announced it's going to be free to play as well so it has all- to be bro to survive yeah. in this climate it has to be free to mm-hmm, play mm-hmm. but yeah like they're doing like it seems like there's a really good like cosmetic uh shop within that as well so it's like it's got something that'll keep people around uh like some of the cosmetics that were in the game that you could unlock from just playing uh look really cool from what i can see uh there's gonna be like three different levels to it so you can play sing- solo duos or trios but only trios was unlocked in this play test uh but i really okay. enjoyed it like i am like i'm interested to see the next time it's gonna go live uh so that more people can play it i'd love to get all of us on it if we can let me know dates just let me know when yeah, it's yeah. available and then i'm there yeah, yeah, I'm following it now because, like I say, once I got like maybe like an hour with it uh, before I had to leave for the day. But like, I really enjoyed it. Like I say, I recorded like a bunch of footage, so I'll probably nice. like edit it down and put it online somewhere for people to check it out. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really fun, really cool. Uh, and like I say, I love the like the balance. It, it feels like it's got that balance. You know, the, the new like Fortnite abilities that they introduced yeah. a couple of seasons back. It's kind of got like that vibe to it. And then, like I say, with those unique abilities that your character has as well. Uh, yeah, huh. like I think I think this has got something that you know could could withstand longer than a few weeks. We'll if, see uh, if it lands at the right time. Should we say? We'll see. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And then they put it out next to GTA Five, mate, and then it's over. Yeah, that, well, I mean, no games releasing. Don't forget, GTA we're 5. Meant to, remember, we're meant to be getting GTA Five next year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, remember mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, that's why no one's putting a date on oh, any geez, of their game releases. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I know. That is probably, you know what, you're right. You're probably right. Actually, yeah. everyone's waiting for their announcement, and it's just like. Yeah. Rumor is new trying to come in this meant to be this month. End of this month is the rumor. Ooh, wee. Uh, I've just realized that since you've moved, you've knocked your camera wide out. So that's fun. Wait, what? You are, you are completely cut off on my thing. It's fine. I can fix you. I can fix him. I can make Wait, it better. But, but my yes. whole camera's moved. How does that work? I don't know. I don't. It's, it's not a big thing. We still see your face. It's just the top. You, you have no top of your head. There you go. Perfect. Nailed it. Weird. Very weird. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Okay. Well, all right well that's nothing else i've been playing so no. can't really talk about any of that um should we do some news before we go out of here i think we should do some news okay let's do some news uh on the news docket this week we have got um uh, this week's dashboard what we got story number one halo infinite battle oh. royale was real and could have been a game changer says dev uh gamespot spotted a mention of halo infinite battle royale in a linkedin page of mike cooper the former game director at halo support studio certain affinity we'll be talking about them later on in the show uh clopper sorry did i say cooper i meant clopper clopper Uh now works for raven software quote and he said this I led a large team of designers working on a cancelled battle royale mode for Halo. Klopper also said, I believe this product could have been a game changer for the franchise. We loved playing it and working on it. It was a fantastic experience in spite of its cancellation. Despawn, would you take a take from that, my friend? God, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't, like, oh, man, could you imagine, like, running around in a, like, a battle royale with Halo, like, Spartan abilities? Oh, that yes, would be so cool. Yes, I could. Yes, yeah. yes, I could. Like, I want, I want that so much. Like, I'm so upset that this has been cancelled. Like, well, it seems weird. Weird. like yeah. it's weird. It, it seems weird to cancel this. Like, even if it was bad, mm-hmm. it seems weird to cancel this because it would have got a little bit more love 
in some aspects. Like, do you, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not suggesting that we should release bad things because no, no, that's not the way forward. But I don't know. This seems like a weird one. I, 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 a battle royale for Halo had made too much sense for it not to happen. Yeah. So for the fact that someone was working on it and now we know it's been cancelled is crazy. Yeah, like it's just it makes no sense. Like, why would you like have something like that? Which again is a slam. Like you say, is a slam dunk. Really, like. You've got free, I free time multiplayer. I think it's at least a, a throw in the right direction. Yeah, it's like you know. The, I think there's enough of the Halo community that would have been all over this. It would have brought people back. Uh, and it would have brought people back who who haven't touched a Halo game before, uh, and then like you know thought, oh, this is really cool. Maybe I'll go check out the multiplayer if I could get into that. Oh wait, the multiplayer is free. Awesome, I'll go play the free multiplayer as well. Uh, and then we're like, we're like, I've done multiplayer, I've done the battle royale. Maybe I'll check out the campaign as well because it's on Game Pass. And you know, it's just another avenue to get people into this ecosystem. And I think it just. Um, I know like people were like saying like everyone's trying to release a battle royale at one point but it's like this seems like something that could have worked really well I think it could work now yeah like like if someone come up if someone said to you yo there's a Halo battle royale do you want to check it out yes. I've already installed it yeah, yes 100% yeah. like yeah. of course I do like mm -hmm. yeah nuts uh, speaking of Sony Affinity though let's uh, carry on uh, with their story um, they've become a, they've been acquired um, they've become the latest acquisition from Keyword Studios. Um, so now they've got uh, Halo Dev, Hogwarts Legacy co-creator. Um, sorry, Halo and uh, Hogwarts Legacy co-creator. Um, Certainly Affinity has become the latest studio acquired. Um, so yeah, this is um, this was taken from a, a press release on their website. Um, so this studio has now worked on Perfect Dark reboot, the mm -hmm. early stages of that. Um, Hogwarts Legacy, which whether you like, you know, Harry Potter and that whole thing, still With a very good sales. game. Um, and, and Halo as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, certainly Affinity, I've definitely got a track where it would have been a great support studio. So I'm very interested to see um, where that leaves what they're going to do next, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like they bring along with them 180 individual um, individuals across the US and uh, Canada working on a, quote, a range of announced and unannounced projects, included Exodus um, and Archetype Entertainment, Last Expedience, um, yeah, sure and a few other stuff. So, yeah, um, everyone's coming over. You've got their CEO, Max uh, Holberman, um, and the president, Paul Sams. So, Great name. Yeah. Paul Sams. Like love, a good, love a good Paul. Love a good Paul. Do you actually mm -hmm. celebrate other Pauls? I don't know. Do you celebrate other fixers? There's no, there's no other fixer. It's just me. Okay. okay. I do celebrate anytime anyone says the word fixer, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Like, so it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like even out of context. Just like if you're watching their film, we're like, oh, he's a fixer. People like, hey, yeah, that's me. That's me. Hey, that's me. That's me. Hey. That's me. That's me. hey. <laughs> so yeah, I guess. I guess uh, yeah. Insert Leonardo DiCaprio get point and gif here. <laughs> <laughs> um, our last story this week uh, is all about a young man named 007. Um, Never heard of him. IO, never heard of him. Uh, IO boss uh, has been talking about um, what they expect to come from their 007 project and quote, young bond for gamers. Uh, they're hoping that this is going to become a brand new trilogy for IO Interactive, says boss. Uh, they were speaking with IGN about a wide range of different things. Uh, obviously, he got onto the topic of 007, um, which is being fully developed, published, and funded by IO. Um, and, um, quote, a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, we absolutely feel, and uh, this comes from the interview, we absolutely feel like 20 years of training uh, for the agent fantasy, so, uh, creating an agent that travels the world and glow trotting, whatnot, has given us some uh, has given us some know-how on that. But obviously, James Bond is a different IP. It's a huge IP. It's not our IP. It's actually the first IP that is not original IP from the ground up um, from them. Um, but mm -hmm. they're excited about working on the project and um, doing an original story. I'm super excited for it. After playing the yeah. last Hitman game, um, if it's anything in that sort of vein, but with 007... Yeah, it could be fantastic. Yeah, it's, uh, I am hyped, like super hyped. Like, like 
anything that IO put out, I'm going to check out and give it a go. The thing that I'm interested to see is when... Because James Bond, obviously, is known for being a secret agent, spy, stealth, sneaking around stuff. But he's also yeah. known for the big over-the-top action sequences as well. So I'm interested to see how IO deal with those. Because it's not yeah. their, it's not like they go to wheelhouse. No, like, obviously, yeah, true. So yeah, so I'm interested to see how that plays out. But if if I trust anyone, I trust IO to do that. Like I think, yeah, I like you say with what they did with Hitman Three specifically, but just the entire trilogy. I think I trust them to make a good trilogy of games. Uh, and yeah, so I'm interested to see what comes of it. And I love the James Bond series as well. Like from watching them as a kid, probably too young. Um, that that man had a lot of sex. That's all I'm saying. He did have a lot of sex. He a lot of, of sex. sex. Good for him, though. Good for him. Good for you the, know, good, good for him. Good for him. He yeah, deserved yeah. it. Yeah, he's seen the world a few times. He deserved it. Yeah, like at least twenty times. Uh, yeah, so I love this. I love the James Bond series. Uh, I love the Hitman series. Uh, not the films as much. Although I did watch the first Hitman film recently. It's not as bad as I remember. Why? I do you ever have those days where you just want to like you know veg out and watch a film that. Like yeah, you know, switch your brain not, off. I'm really bad. Just like I am with games, I'm really bad at watching something I've already seen. Yeah, I mean I've already Unless seen I'm that sick. film. Yeah, okay. Unless I'm sick. If I'm sick, I will sit and watch anything I've already seen because then I can fall asleep and this like comes fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I'm if I'm just chilling, no, I want new experiences. Yeah, old movie is old. I get you. I get you. Old movie no, is old, mate. Yeah, yeah. But no, I watched it. It was okay. Uh, but no, like I'm interested to see. Yeah, IO's take on the James Bond series. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we can't do any game shows this week. So no guess that game, no blind ranking, but we will end on Fix the Sack. We've got some questions, so let's jump into them. Don't forget, you can email in my Xbox and me podcast at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter at mxam or at my xbox and me um like some of these people have done and of course the discord we appreciate you all uh el dozo says with spider-man 2 coming to pc and it being i believe the shortest time between playstation games releasing and being released on pc are we slowly starting to move to both day and date releases and the re uh, the soft removal of the exclusive title? I appreciate that they may always be the console exclusive in some form, looking at you, Nintendo. So, mm, I don't think so. I think PlayStation have actually... PlayStation have done this perfectly, where they've... Don't get me wrong, they're still fanboys that are absolutely upset and pissed off and annoyed that mm -hmm. uh, Spider-Man's coming to PC, but... I think they have the best of both worlds with this. They're clearly seeing great success um, with the sales on PC. Otherwise, they won't keep doing this. Yeah. Um, they're not, obviously, they're not seeing it slow down um, at PlayStation sales when it comes to these games as well. It seems like a win-win situation. Um, you, for someone like myself who has a PlayStation, right? You're you're happy because you get first dibs on their exclusive games and then what's this i think this is 16 months 17 months uh, um so it's dropping in january i believe so it will be 13 months because it dropped oh, okay uh, there you go yeah because spider-man 2 originally came out in october last year and okay. so yeah so it would be i mean November, 13 months is still months. quite a good quite a good exclusive period in my opinion yeah oh in fact no that'd be no that would be 15 months yeah but still yeah yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I think, like you said, like, I think when they started announcing this, they said it was going to be like, I don't know if they officially said it, but I think the rumors were they were aiming for like 12 months minimum. Yeah. For all their first party titles, which, which is, makes I think sense. Is pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty good. I think a unless, year exclusive, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's. The, I think Herman said that it was very much a case of they want to, they believe in the the console being the the premier place to play these games, but they understand like, you know, a sec double dip into the market on PC makes total sense for them. And like I said, day and, day and date for multiplayer games, which they've done it once and it didn't go very well. <clears throat> Hi, Concord, I miss you. <laughs> I, I don't, that's a lie. I played you once in the beta. Um, You're, but a yeah, no. You're a liar. You're a liar. Get yeah, out of here. I'm out of here. All right. It's just you on your own then. Just to see. Um, I've done that. Don't <laughs> worry. I've done that. If you think I don't one man show before, yeah, I yeah. have and I'll do it again. Um, but no, I, I don't think I don't think I don't think this changes anything. I think they're getting closer and closer to a year, but I think that's what they'll stop. A year exclusivity. Yeah, it I works think that, for them. I think that'll be the 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 shortest you'll see probably for a long time coming. Like I say, unless it is that day and date with uh, multiplayer games. Like I know we've got uh don't know when we're getting it, but Marathon uh is coming at some point i forgot, I forgot all about that from them yeah 
Yeah. Got all you, about after. Do you think that'll come out when when everyone's done with extraction shooters as well? Like, do you think people are done with extraction shooters already, or do you think we're just waiting for a triple A title? I think mean, you're waiting for a good extraction shooter. It's well, the hard part. I feel like it's it's one of those genres that are really hard to nail. Here's the question: What comes first, marathon or a Chicken. Fortnite extraction mode? Probably a Fortnite extraction mode. <laughs> like I, I like <laughs> for, like Fortnite is the perfect place to like just put any mode you want in there right now, especially with the UA creator in there. Yep. Uh, like I could see them just be like, "Yo, we would have the team made a Fortnite." Uh, extraction mode go ham some kid made it with, with their creator code here you go yeah probably <laughs> maybe that's yeah, yeah maybe we're doing it wrong should we just should we give up like making a podcast and just make Fortnite modes maps yeah probably we're probably yeah. richer mate if I'm being totally yeah. honest so you know uh, next Patreon. question comes from uh, Tarantulas <laughs> and says I bought Diablo 4 on my PlayStation 5 I have also started playing it in my Xbox and PC because of Game Pass so I don't own it on Xbox. I'm looking to get the DLC, but buying it on Xbox doesn't make sense. I only have access uh, to Diablo on Xbox as long as I have a premium subscription and they don't pull it off. I don't want to buy the base game again. What do you guys think? So first point, I don't think they'll ever take it off Game Pass because it's a first party title. So. Agreed. I don't think there's any risk of that. I don't think there's been a case. I think the only time there's been an issue with games being removed is when it got removed from like the core subscription, when they changed yes. it all around recently and like certain games weren't in that tier anymore. But if you own Ultima, uh, then yeah, I don't think you'll ever lose access to a first party title ever. Um, ex I say you like licensing agreements might affect some things or whatever. And I, I never want to say never say never, but like yeah never. I think, never 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 but yeah i think you'd be hard pressed to fight like, i don't think anything licensed in a diablo game that you'd need to worry about losing uh and yeah i don't think yeah but like you say if you already own it on ps5 and you don't want to buy the game again but you're worried about like buying the dlc only like you can just buy the dlc and play it off game pass yeah but what i think what he's saying is he's worried that he'll, he'll lose access to because he'll lose access to the base game if he stops playing like, when he stops for game pass. playing for game pass yeah I, I know a simple solution don't stop paying for game pass don't stop paying for game pass xbox have got you that's, buddy that's they the got you yeah but it's, they it's, got you man i yeah. think the, the the basic answer is if you feel like you're going to be playing this game or playing the dlc as long as you have game pass just buy it, fine. Like, buy it wherever you prefer to play. Like, if you're happier playing it on Xbox, buy it there. Slash if, PC. Slash PC. Um, well, I mean, yeah, buy it wherever. And you get it. It's a Play Anywhere title, isn't it? Like, with it being an Xbox first party yep. title. So, yeah. Um, and then, I mean, worst case scenario, if you decide you don't want to play it anymore on, for, for Game Pass, just double dip. Like, at that point. What I would do is mm -hmm. grab your PlayStation 5. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'd throw it at your grandma. Yeah. As she grandma. catches it, yeah. drop kick her down the stairs. Down the stairs. And say, Sleep. Grandma, why didn't you give me money to buy the Game Pass version, the full version on Xbox? Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Yeah, yeah. Take her, yeah, take her pension and buy yourself the Xbox take, version. Take her, take her pension money and buy it for yourself on Xbox. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, see they are. <laughs> Beat up your grand, take her money, buy it. No, don't do that. Do not do don't that. Don't do that. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. We don't advocate for that, but kicking her down the stairs, we do. Yeah, yeah, do that bit. Uh, and steal nice. a phone and get leave a review on the uh, the you know the podcasts. Uh, but no, I would say just honestly, like unless you're planning on cancelling Game Pass anytime soon, get it on there. This is if you're asking my opinion, what you should do. What you should do is you should go to a website that sells the codes that give you months and months of Game Pass. Usually, it's like three months for cheaper. Mm -hmm. buy that and then buy the the version then you'll save some money on the monthly out costs of wh whatever you're paying which will make up the difference bang that's what Nailed i would it. do it. if you're asking my opinion that's what i would do so there you go um a wild army enters says did you guys check out frag punk or project ethos uh while they had closed beta tests uh while they've been available the past few days slash weeks if so what are your thoughts on the current state we already kind of spoke about that because despawn has played it so mm -hmm. just uh, saying i'm not ignoring you but despawn's yeah. already played it yeah he don't mm. like you army he said he said to me don't answer that question but i did anyway so uh, i did say that to him i said this army guy oh i swear to god sucks uh but no uh yeah like i say i've enjoyed it i think there was a couple of teething issues like performance and menus and stuff like that but again it's a closed play test it's not 
even an alpha at this point. So, uh, yeah, it's good. I didn't play Fragpunk. Uh, I did sign up for the beta, but I just never had a chance to play it. Uh, it looked interesting. I heard some good things, but yeah, I didn't get a chance to play it myself, so I can't really comment. There you go. I just wanted to prank the pause there. Uh, okay. Next up, uh, Trentress <laughs> also says, thoughts uh, on that off-the-grid game, crypto game. No comment. I don't talk about crypto games. What he said. Thank you very much. Moving on. Uh, I did, should I give you my real answer? So I actually looked into it. The game Go has on. optional NFTs. That's so, it. No, no. Can, can I give well, you my yeah. real, my actual real answer? Yes, you can. I do think eventually in our lifetime, this whole, I don't think they'll be called NFTs. I don't think it'll be called crypto because I feel maybe crypto will stick around actually, but there will be a game that does this right and people are going to enjoy it. Mm hmm where I you think, can earn real money in the, i'm talking i don't know where we're at with it could be another 10 years could be another 20 years but in our lifetime there will be a world where crypto and earning real money and all of that metaversey nonsense that some people hate and i absolutely love is going to become real i do believe that yeah i did too i think my issue and again we're getting serious about it my issue with it is is the environmental issues around it like until you can you know ethically run a blockchain that doesn't like require a massive data farm to host it then yeah, yeah I, I don't see a future that i'd want that uh but when someone figures that out and fixes it like i feel like the idea of you know See, I mentioned the name. Uh, yeah, <laughs> until someone figures out a way to, like, you know, resolve that issue. Uh, I th I like the premise of having things that you can earn in game and move around. I think that's cool. Like having skins yeah. to like a centralized character that you carry around throughout your games. It sounds interesting. But the tech Fortnite behind it wants to do it. Yeah, Fortnite the ones to do. It. I just don't think the tech is there for it yet. Uh, oh, I agree. In an ethical way, uh, and yeah, and Crypto Bros just. Give me the ick. 100% agree. Last but not least, Origin Cookie Man says, have you noticed how more and more high profile Xbox third party game deals are for Xbox Play Anywhere titles? Metaphor, Wu Chang, Fallen Feathers, uh, Claire, Obstacle, Expedia, Expedia, Expedia's 33. I can't remember how you say that. Uh, um, that would be Claire Obscure Expedition 33. Expedition, thank you. I still no, forgot. I, that came out, didn't it? Nope. No, yeah. They just announced the cast. Wait, I thought I saw Creators playing there. No, I don't believe so. No, I must be wrong. You're right. No, you're right. They did just announce the cast because uh, Ben Starr's in it. Uh, ben Starr's in it. Andy Serkis is in it. Um, Charlie Cox is in it. I'm in it. You're in it. I'm in it. I am. Yeah, yeah. It, crushing that. No, Crush died, so he can't be in it anymore. Ah, he died. Damn it. I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. No, that's um, not until next year, yeah. I mean, I'm not really... No have you noticed... Not really... I, I'll be honest with you. Metaphor and... Ex Expedition 33. <laughs> Expedition 3 are the two big ones there. Wu-Chang Wu -Chang has potential to be big, but I don't think it's... I wouldn't put it as a... Yeah, I guess it is. I mean, I I'm mean, being unfair. Maybe I'm yeah. being unfair. No, you're right. You're right. They are all the games you've mentioned are definitely high profile. They're just not. They're not games that are going to get my grandma to sit down and play them, are they? That's the uh, one thing I will say. So it's not going for that yeah. casual audience. Yeah, they're not Wii Sports Resort. Let's put it that way. That's uh, nice. Yeah, the one thing I would say to this question, I've not noticed a push on play anywhere. I think that's the main takeaway from this question. Like, I've not really seen them pushing play anywhere for a while. I well, anything like that goes day one in Game Pass with Xbox is basically is yeah. play play anywhere, right? Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah. But like, I think again, that's, I think like that's I say, right. I think I just remember at the beginning of it all, it was very much like play anywhere. There's this big thing. It's like you buy it in one place, you can play it everywhere. And I feel like now it's just like the standard for Game Pass, right? That's kind of that, yeah. That it's yeah. become the standard, so yeah. No, I agree. That's kind of what my, my head went out with it. So no, I didn't notice, to be honest with you, because I kind of expected it in a weird mm -hmm. way, which yeah. I think is also what does Xbox a devalues Xbox in a little bit, right? Because like we just expect it. We don't give them the credit for doing things like playing new anymore. We just like, well, yeah, of course it's there. Yeah, because it's yeah, because it's standard. Well, why wouldn't it be on PC as well? It, like, it's, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So a little bit like a um, uh, cross play now. Like if a game doesn't have cross play now, you're like, you're all, why? You're weird. It's, it's the exception it's weird to, to the not rule, have right? It. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. If, a game, if a game comes to Game Pass and it's not available on like both plays. Like anywhere. Like, yeah. 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 I mean, you get the old one, I think there's been like a couple of RTSs that are obviously not going to come to console straight away and things like that. Of course. But yeah, nine times out of ten, it's like, if it's on console, it's a Play Anywhere title. Peace, bomb. Let's plug, huh? plug, plug and get ourselves out of here, mate. We got to plug. Uh, I'm going to plug the reviews. Leave us reviews. God damn it. Just kick your grand down the stairs already. Like she, yeah, I, don't she's, even, I don't even know where my phone is. I can't even check if we got any. Sorry, she's asking for it at this point. I can check she's, while I while I talk about you know kicking your grand down the stairs. <laughs> she's asking for it. She's, she's asking, asking to be kicked it. down the stairs. Honestly, if you know, um, oh, listen, I, you can kick your granddad down the stairs as well. Like, yeah, it, I mean, well, yeah, either way. Yeah, no, equal opportunity. Kick either of them. Kick a buff. You know, if you can do a double drop. At the same kick, time. Yeah, yeah. Just get them both. Like, do that slow motion fly through the air, mm-hmm. and then they just bounce along, and they just pick up the phone and like you know like drop a, a review yeah just drop a review don't forget the review part i feel like we we harp on about drop, drop kicking kick your grandparents but we forget that like you know the review we need the review we need the reviews? reviews uh no 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 reviews well that's up sam um mm-hmm. you can find me everywhere at mc fixer you can find the spawn at all day spawn yes <laughs> um yeah man keep being the amazing to one another and until next time we will love you leave you and see you all later Go bye. Uh, apples. Apple. The secret word is apples.